Hi, I've got a story to tell, but before I do, please know I'm only making this video because I clearly hate myself. Now that we've got that out of the way, honey, get into this tea. So, four score and seven years ago, we got on this thing called house arrest, and I, like many of you, was in the house going crazy. And one day, I went out for an essential run, AKA to the grocery store, and I saw something that made my heart skip a beat, and that was, the beauty supply. The beauty supply was open. For some reason, I ended up in the retro aisle, grabbed a bottle of Jerry Curl juice, bought a boom, bought a bang, made a video. To date, that is my most popular video on my channel. Over two million people have viewed it. A lot of people went on to recreate it. Hey, we was in the house, boy, and ain't nothing else to do. Might as well play in your hair. And so, I'm currently supposed to be doing 12 days of Christmas on my channel. As y'all know, I'm six months pregnant, so I'm running a little behind. But even though I'm behind, one thing I am still doing is checking the comments, cause that's what I like to do as a content creator. <laughs> because I'm jazzy. And so, in reading the comments, and I know I've been talking a while, I said I got a story to tell, sit your tail down and listen. Like I was saying, one of you guys left a comment and said, Faye, it is 12 days of Christmas, just to spread a little Christmas joy. I would like it if you once again tried Jerry Curl Juice on your natural hair. And who am I not to please my subscribers, okay? Who am I not? And so, I packed my happy little pregnant tail up in my car, went to the beauty supply, and I went shopping, but I wanted to try something new this time, okay? I went into the retro aisle, you know, the aisle with your blue magics, your stay soft fro, your luster's pink lotion, your motions, and all your other retro stuff that stains your couches. And I found something that caught my eye. Bam! We got us some Jerry Carol juice. Well, it's actually in a different form now. It's supposed to be a light gel activator for normal hair. It's got a new look and the same formula. And I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the same formula because honey, this kind of stuff, it, 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 it just really, mm -mm. it's responsible for the damage of many couches, many car seats, many church pews, anywhere your head was resting. And so it's a little concerning that the formula is the same. However, they say it is non-greasy. And while I have become a little bit more reformed on my channel, in the name of Christmas cheer, we are gonna throw it back to the days where things were less about algorithms and business and making sure everything was perfect and YouTube was just fun for the heck of being fun. So with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and put this Jerry Carroll juice in our natural hair. Now, of course, I cannot just start this show with just the juice. Honey, we got to put on the whole show, so I have decided that I am going to use some of my favorite wash day products and so to shampoo my hair, I'll be using the Melanin African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo. I will be conditioning with the Curl Smith Double Cream Deep Quencher for my leave-in. I have decided Little Miss Ajua Beauty is the way to go. Now, all of these products, let's be honest, they are very much so on bougie auntie status, but since this is the equivalent of snail piss when it comes to products, I might as well treat myself a little bit before I go ahead and saturate myself in greasy goodness. And so, this is either going to be absolutely amazing or I am going to be drenching like I am someone's uncle named Bubba in a 1982 Cutlass, but either way, it goes you will be entertained and so before i go ahead and crack these products open let me once again wish you a very merry christmas you filthy animals and a happy new year boom all right so now that we got this long ridiculous introduction out of the way let's go ahead and get this wash day started number one i'm not shampooing my hair in the shower because that means i would have to carry equipment and this pregnant body says absolutely heck no secondly once again we're using the melanin black soap shampoo i love this stuff um i use it probably once a month just to make sure my hair gets extra clean because that's exactly what this thing will do is get you extra fresh and extra clean heavy on the fresh because it make my scalp tingle anyway because i want to get to the start of the show honey this feels so freaking good Oh my goodness. Because I want to get to the start of the show, I'm not going to spend too much time on the wash day process. Which you all just know, I wash my hair twice and I'm going to use this just to make sure my hair and scalp stays healthy. And let me tell you this right now while you're watching this, I say it every time. Listen, I don't care what your favorite YouTubers say. Don't just wash your scalp. Scrub your scalp and take that thing on down your strands to make sure your hair stay clean and healthy. All right, let me go ahead and finish washing and I'll be right back. And we're back. My hair is clean as a baby's butt. It is time to add some moisture. So once Again, stop. So once again, I'm going to condition my hair with the Curl Smith Double Cream Deep 
quencher it has a thick lotion texture like this right here it's very much so it rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the whole skin so i am going to go ahead and put this on my hair you really don't need this much but it's my hair and it's my money and i'm gonna do what i want to do period so i'm gonna go through all four sections and make sure that the hair that i'm putting it on is soaking wet because it just works better and plus honey this thing's so thick you ain't got no choice but to put it on soaking wet hair so let me go ahead and apply it to all four sections oh and for the record I picked this particular conditioner strategically. Stop! Shoot! Honey, these Mr. Bottles are really cute, but they ain't all that functional. But anyway, I picked this particular conditioner on purpose because that African Black Soap Shampoo is really, really cleansing. I don't find that it strip my hair, but it make it super clean. And so I want to make sure I put a lot more moisture back into my hair so it don't be feeling like straw and all that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the rest of my hair. And right now we're looking very much so Michael Jackson in the 80s. All right, so the conditioner is completely applied. And now can we acknowledge, listen to me, to those of you all who saw my first video doing this, can we acknowledge the growth, honey? She's sprouting like broccoli. Secondly, this time one year ago, I accidentally bought extra large shower caps. One of you all decided to drag me about it and I'm the type before you drag me, I'm gonna drag you and your mama back. And it became an ongoing fight between me and my subscribers because they were like, how dare you wear that stupid mess? And I'm like, how dare you talk to me about my stupid mess? But anyway, eventually we all got on the same page and named the cap. Samantha. So on the count of three, in the name of holiday cheer, even if you think you're too grown and too mature to do it, I'm telling you to do it anyway, or I'm gonna smack you in the face. Not really, but just play along, okay? On the count of three, I need everybody under the sound of my voice to say, hey, Samantha. One, two, three. Hey, Samantha! Okay. All right, 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 all right. And there we go, serving very much the Morris Simpson. Okay, so because I want to use this as a deep treatment, I'm actually gonna get under the dryer, let my hair sit and luxuriate in all this expensive conditioner. I'm gonna rinse it out and come back and show you the results when we finish the rest of this video. So with that being said, I'll be back. And we are back, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on this good old leave in. This is Azua Beauty. I have good results with this when I use it. I like it, it smells good, it works good. That's all that matters. So I'm gonna just take a couple pumps. Then I'm gonna go on each section, rub it on together and apply it, simple as that. And then I already detangled my hair. I'm just going through and just adding this stuff in here. You don't have to use a leave-in if you don't want to. Just as for me and my house, that's what we gonna do. Okay, okay. All right, so my leave-in is applied. I'm looking very, very crazy, but don't you worry about the end of this video, I'll be cute. Hopefully. So anyway, like I said, leave-ins are totally optional. I like them on my hair, so I will continue to use them on my hair. But another thing that you can do if you just want to, you know, be extra, get you a little extra credit point, is put your cap on top of your leave-in. I know it sounds crazy to people that ain't ever tried it, but I'm telling you, everyone who has listened to me can let you know it is the gospel too. Put your cap on your leave-in for about five minutes and just let it sit there. I promise you, her come out feeling like butter. So let me let this sit and I'll be back. Alrighty, so it has been about a good 20 minutes. Let me tell you something. This kid was just like, feed me, see more. So I had to stop and eat. But now, it's time to get the show on the road. So we are using the Soft Sheen Corson Carefree Curl. It's a light gel activator. And it has aloe vera for moisture retention. Now I'm gonna tell you something about gel activators. They might help your curls to pop by adding a lot of moisture to it because it has a lot of glycerin. But honey, one thing it ain't ever gonna do is hold them curls. So what I'm going to do is put a holding gel on top. And I'm about to pull out the Big Daddy that I have not used in months. And that is that good old Wet Line Extreme Gel. So I'm gonna use this for the moisture retention to maybe even make my curls pop or activate as they say. And then I'm gonna use the Wet Line Gel to hold it in place. And another thing about Wet Line is if you use this on your own, uh, like without anything under it, it can be a little hard, a little crunchy, a little firm. And I don't like this. So this gel activator, because it has so much glycerin in it, it's pretty much gonna soften it. So basically, just put them together. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna spritz my hair, cause I feel like this will work better on soaking wet hair. Now let's crack this bad boy open. It smell like curl activator, if you know, you know. I know they say non-greasy, but you'll never get me to believe it, so I'm not going to go super hard with how much I use. So let's start with this amount right here. It's loose and runny, so it look like it's running down my finger. It's really not a lot. Well, actually, no, this, mm, let's start low, okay? Listen, I ain't trying to stain my furniture. So let's rub that together and put this on my entire section right here. 
Oh, this is very interesting. We gonna see how greasy it is at the end, but it definitely got a little bit of stick to it. So anyway, okay. Um, I definitely need a gel on top because, honey, what curl did it activate? Well, I mean, I guess it did. Hold on, let me not throw too much shade. It did activate a little bit. Hmm. Might be on something just a little bit though, cause that wasn't enough, all right? Definitely ain't enough to write home to mama about. So I'm gonna take me some Wet Line Extreme Gel. About that much right there. I'm gonna rub it on together and put it on this section of hair. And I'm actually gonna make this smaller. Wait a minute, Chad. Wait, whoa. Excuse me. We probably just did something. Okay. Um, let, let me add a little bit more wet line. And with me just raking and smoothing, these curls is starting to do some things. Honey, this right here is serving mitochondria. Do you see it? Do you see it? It is actually really defining my hair. Like seriously, that curl activator, it got so much moisture in it that it's like really hydrating my hair. And then that gel is locking it in. So let me go through and uh, kind of do that to the rest of the hair. This is, 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 is doing something to me. I'm a little perplexed, you understand me? So here's what we're gonna do. I am going to go through each section I'm gonna spritz my hair with a lot of water just so that I can make sure my hair is really, really moisturized. Then I'm going to apply this curl activator, but I'm gonna start with small amounts and add as needed because honey, ain't nobody trying to be dripping and soaking wet and whatever. And then I'm going to take some of the Wetline Extreme Gel and do a little bit of smoothing and raking in my hair to see how my curls pop. <laughs> So, the product is completely applied. And first of all, honey, these curls, they curling. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Secondly, this combo together, I feel like it's gonna be a hit. I feel like it is. The downside though, honey, my neck. Oh my goodness. Honey, it's sticky. So when it's dry up, I, I'm gonna need that not to be some residue on my skin because my goodness, they talking about non greasy. I don't know about that, honey. My neck is sticky. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and get under a hooded dryer and let this do its thing. And then once it's completely dry, I'm gonna come back and show it to you before I do any stretching, picking, and fluffing. But for right now, I ain't know about it in the beginning, but I think I like it. All right, let me go ahead and get dry. Okay, and after a long excruciating stint under the hair dryer, my hair is dry, but of course I'm never, I'm never wearing it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick fluff and shape it off camera and show you the final results in five, four, three, two. <gasps> um, look at my curls. So as you can see, it worked. Um, what I will say is number one, it took a longer time to dry than some other wash and go combos I used just because it was so much moisture in that curl activator. But as far as the curl activator goes, chef's kiss. Um, it did not dry sticky or anything like that. There's just like a little bit of a tacky feeling nowhere near like the spray activate. It, it's not that, it's not that my skin ain't sticky or nothing like that. Like this, it, this wasn't an unpleasant experience. I don't smell like Jerry Carroll juice or nothing like that. And my hair honestly feels really good. The good thing is too, although my wash day items are, you know, bougie auntie and stuff like that. The actual curl activator and the gel, they are not expensive at all what i will say though is honey and shopping for retro products you gotta be a little careful honey it's a wonder i don't have a foot growing out of my forehead right now because some of the ingredients whoo but in that particular curl activator i read it there's no parabens or anything like that the only thing that some people might not like is dimethicone which is a silicone but i don't have no problem with that i'm just gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair or whatever so anyway let me tell you this this is just me being honest i just slept on my hair okay i recorded most of the video yesterday but then honey after i got out of that dryer i was like no ma'am we're gonna sit out and so i went to sleep so this is actually day two hair and i really really like it so with that being said i endorse that particular curl activator if you want to try something new for your hair, if you just want this to be entertainment, there you have it. So, once again, this was my contribution to 12 Days of Christmas. I'm going to be honest with you, Chief. The way my body is set up, I, I, this probably might be the last video. If I, if I feel the spirit move me, I'll be back. If not, you know, I'll, I'll just see you whenever. But if you do see this before the holiday, Merry Christmas to you if you are someone who celebrates. If you are not, honey, just have a great, amazing day because you deserve anyway. So, with that being said, let me turn around because, wait a minute, I probably should have looked at the back. I ain't check it out. If you look a mess, don't, don't judge me, judge your mama. Turn around. And 
And so, yeah, that's it. This is my day two hair with Jerry Curl Juice, and she is giving. And speaking of giving, here's a piece of advice I'm gonna give to you in the spirit of holiday cheer. Honey, if this is, if you are celebrating, listen to me. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is for a certain group of people. Honey, don't you let no chitlins be on your plate. It's listen, in 2021, ain't no excuse for it. Stop eating them. Stop eating them. Stop eating them. I don't care how much hot sauce you use. Stop eating chitlins. Because in the year of our Lord, 2021, ain't no reason to be walking around with booty smelling breath. So, with that being said, that is the end of this video. I love y'all. Maki, da da, and I'm out this piece. Bye. Honey, the curls. They curl it. <laughs>